Hi guys, I just wanted to give you guys a little update on SKSC64 if you haven't heard already. What is SKSC64? Well, it's been in development since Skyrim Special Edition came out, and it extends the capabilities of Skyrim's scripting engine in order to enable more complex modifications to be created and implemented into the engine. Games like the original Skyrim and Fallout 4 have variations of these script extenders already, which allow mods such as Sky UI, Pumping Iron, and mods such as Frostfall to use to their full extents. But what about the Special Edition? You may be wondering why the old script extender can't be used from the original version of Skyrim. That is because the old version of Skyrim runs in a 32-bit framework and takes advantage of older technology. The Special Edition is an updated version of Bethesda's engine, and as such, most of the code for SKSE needs to be rewritten in order to get working for the game. Though there was no official release date, it was suggested that we would have a mid-March release. Well, I have some news for you guys regarding its release. Unfortunately, it has been delayed, with the mod authors seeming to be very busy in their daily lives and as such have little time to work on the script extender. So it seems we will have to wait a little bit longer, and even though the Nexus seems to be growing in terms of mods for the special edition, older, more notable mods have not been updated due to the requirement of SKSE 64. We all know the mod authors are continuing at their best efforts to get this done as soon as possible, and I wish them good luck in the coming months. And that's all for today. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, and always give gratitude to the mod authors.